Yeah, where President Muhammad Obari on Tuesday in Abuja sacks the repositioning of the military through training, networking and equipping will turn it into a force of global reckoning while urging officers to keep giving their best to the nation. Correspondent Nabuchi Oke Nabuchi tells us more in this report. The president said the Giwatu project would provide real-time secure means of communication and incident reporting, as well as information exchange between the armed forces and other security agencies. It also stands to enhance collaboration between Nigeria's defense, intelligence and security community, while providing the platform for the denial of freedom of action to all perpetrators of insecurity across Nigeria. The president said the benefits of the Giwa 2 project informed the timely support of the federal government through the Central Bank of Nigeria to ensure that the center is commissioned as one of the proud landmarks and enduring achievements of the armed forces of Nigeria under this administration. To this end, the Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy is to support the defense headquarters in ensuring that the infrastructure available for rural telephony are fully deployed for the attainment of Giwa 2 project deliverables. The federal government shall support the full actualization of the other phases of Giwa 2 project. To commission the phase one of the Situa National Defense Communications Network, codenamed Giwa 2 project, executed by defense headquarters. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate and commend the efforts of the armed forces for their unrelated contribution to the peace and stability of our country. The QR2 infrastructure we are commissioning is designed to provide secure means of communication, real-time incident reporting, as well as information exchange between the armed forces and other security agencies. Permit me to begin by congratulating our principal, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, for another landmark achievement that we convert here to commission, that is secure national security communication network that is being championed by the office of uh, the chief of our uh, defense staff. We came into the project because whenever you need communication facilities, definitely there is need for spectrum. I happen to be the chair of uh, the National Frequency Management Council, the council that has been mandated to manage the national frequency spectrum scarce resources allocation all over the country. In his welcome address, Chief of Defense Staff General Loki Rabo stated that the commissioning of the Gewatu project was the accumulation of President Buhari's directives in 2021 that the defense headquarters must ensure that families displaced by insurgency went back to their farms, noting that the project would ensure a secure communication for the military in carrying out its responsibilities. Yes, let's see. You may recall that in 2021, during one of the Federal Executive Council meetings that you chaired, you touched me along with the members of the armed forces and indeed the, the Inspector General of Police and the heads of intelligence agencies that we must ensure that we conduct operations that will enable the farmers to return to farm. I'm sure you have to record at the time that owing to the activities of bandits and other criminal elements, that farmers found it at the time very difficult to go to the farm. And that is the beginning of what we have come here to do today. To be part of this historic event, which is the commissioning ceremony of the Defense Headquarters newly completed Giwa 2 project. The successful completion of the secure nationwide defense communication network infrastructure, which commenced in July 2021, is a remarkable breakthrough in the technological ad advancement of communication systems in the armed forces of Nigeria. It is impressive to note that the network has the capability of providing voice, data, and video, as well as other value-added services for the armed forces locations in and outside Abuja. 
General Irabo extolled the president's sterling leadership that had enabled the Nigerian armed forces to accomplish so much in the nation's fight against insurgency and other criminalities across the country.